Alright, welcome back to the Wolf Among Us. Um, we're trying to find Crane right now, in case you didn't watch the last part. <clears throat> Let's see if he left any money in his desk. Dear Mr. Ichabod, Crane. I am writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning. Yeah, okay, this is boring. Okay, that's just something asking for more funding for the farm. And this is a letter from Toad. And I'm fairly positive that uh, nothing positive is going to come from that. Did Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. Who is King Cole anyways? What is it? The key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. I need to know. A lot of blood and flowers. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. I don't think she needed to know the details. There's only so much you can completely. Reflect, you know? Don't worry, we'll get him eventually. Don't worry, Snow. We'll get him. Come on, let's keep looking. It's probably gonna be th this. Can we call someone on this phone? Guess not. Alright, what's inside his drawer? A book. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what? What witch? What meeting? Well, he called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. I'm sure it's about this ring. They must have it. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! Seems like something I would do. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. Tonight. <gasps> What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to- I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business. What do you mean for you every attempt? Oh, he's only been missing for like a couple hours. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at two o'clock. AM or PM? AM. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Why do you Define care? help. Why do you even care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <laughs> Literally invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. And tonight I hear that Crane has been killing Fables? And there's no system in place to catch him? Look, 
We know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, that voice actor seems really familiar. Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spin my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially I'm in control. <laughs> Crap, I messed that up. I'm heading up the investigation, okay? Boy, what he dear. said. That makes this a moot point. And somebody needs to run the business office while he does so. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. We're we trusting Buffkin. Yeah, and that's if he's even going there. We're trusting a monkey's interpretation of a phone call. It's not an interpretation. That's racist. It's what he said, all right? Yeah, and it's what we have. So let's go on it, okay? Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what, what they do. They know After about tonight, it. They never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The trip trap is the better option to track the witch down. I can always that do both. Has to be our focus. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyway. No, so. chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We because I want to go up key, there. Remember. I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock. <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest. And go ahead. Now it's a crime scene. Fine, I don't care. Just go ahead. We can't just let Bluebeard run amok in Crane's place. Ah! Yeah, we can. He's after something. I just don't know what it is. He's my new deputy. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or oh, the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's Fine, then go with him. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Find the witch. Oh, they have three options. So you leave Crane alone? Then we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things. Crane's we'll go here first. Right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Crane's penthouse No, I could have gotten money from no there. I hope you know what you're doing. What big guys you have. Completed chapter 3 of episode 3. Room 1902. Snow said Crane lives in 1903. Thrushbeard? This is Briar Rose's place. I have no idea who that is. Hey, door's unlocked. Crane? 
Crane's apartment, Woodlands building, one hour and 55 minutes left. Time to hurry. I wonder if you can actually run out of What sort of jerk has a bust Damn of himself it. in this house? Have missed <coughs> There's gotta be something about his witch here. Yeah, what kind of jerk has a bust of himself in his house? Egomaniac. Well, that sounded cheerfully ominous. Crane in his finest moment. <laughs> Wonder why that guy's not in Fable Town. What's in here? A folder. Not a folder, an envelope. With money. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. What's going on here? I don't know, but I'm taking the money. If anyone's stealing money from Fable Town, it's gonna be me. My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. Watching you work, if I am unable to control myself, it's because I love you. <sighs> you got love confused with that infatuation. Might be useful. I'll be taking lucky. Teacher's patch, what? Oh yeah. Hasn't been used in years. He used to be a teacher. I think. God, he used to teach in the old days. Oh, he did. Something tells me he was worried about his job. Let's steal some of his liquor. In the open arms. Or let's not steal some of his liquor. Ah, oh, that's a nice view of the city. Seen him that excited. I'm guessing that's, that's King Cole. Math, science, history. I had to guess. This shit didn't work. <laughs> uh, wait, where are the medals for? What's the key for? I did not sound good. I do not like how that bell just made a sound. Right, we got globe. Over there we have nothing. I wonder what Big Beast gonna say about this. Really? Who had to sit there for hours upon hours making that? I feel bad for that person. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, well, there's gotta be an easier way. Aw, oh, I wanted to cause property damage. Time to do this the good way. The lawful way. Hey, stay where you are! <gasps> I, uh, Meant to press something else. Wow, it is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. 
That is true. This weather, right? Yes, the well, weather is yeah, horrible. I guess. But you know, some people like that sort of thing. You know, I've always wondered, do you get that wet dog smell when it rains? Explain yourself. Actually, I'm now. pretty curious about that now. Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend, but you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! Nope. Okay! You got me. Just take it easy. You better tell me why you're really here. Okay, okay. Why do you gotta be a jerk to him? I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. Have you heard anything about a witch? In connection with Crane? Maybe something about a ring? What are you getting at? Have you seen it or not? Me to say? I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. Did somebody send you and tell the truth? No, it's just me. Just take it easy. <sighs> you know, this tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean,. What are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I'm investigating. Sure. Investigating. By, uh, by uh, that I mean taking money like from his apartment. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're, uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just, uh, squeeze through. You were about to leave through the window. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. Go on. I'm listening. You're looking for Crane's witch, right? Mm-hmm. I'm not stupid. Big B Wolf comes in here asking about witches in Crane's apartment. I'm not a mathematician, but I know two plus two is five, am I right? I can tell you who she is. If you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. How but convenient. I'm sure you already knew that. How convenient. Convenient for you, Sheriff. I got the info you need. This is an easy win. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Deal. Fine. We got a deal. Perfect. I like Jack. Now tell me where I can find this witch. Strong grip. Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what he's using her for, but if he's not going to the 13th floor, where is she? Illegal. Where can I find her? Well, um, you see, uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her. That was a failed impression of a Batman voice if I've ever heard one. Done one. The name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. Right. I'll keep my eyes open. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. Congratulations, Bigby. Oh, you just gave this guy immunity from the law. Running into you, Bigby. Hang on a second. Oh, come on. Dear. Do you always talk to yourself like that? Pretty much. The witch I mean, that is how I make videos. Her. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. Wow, I never would have guessed. Uh, no. You want to try that again? That it? Take me? 
Are you still here? Just keep your mouth shut, all right? You're the boss. Who are you talking to? What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. He's here to help. Jack had some information about Crane's witch. Oh, what did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fabled Town. <sighs> of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleaze ball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? Probably. I, mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. Right now, I honestly don't care. I just want to get the fucking guy. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. We have to figure out where he's meeting her. That's true. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. Dean Dums. We can get more money. I'll go pay the Tweedle brothers a visit. I'm sure they know something. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. This is probably one of the better Telltale games because I don't think you can do everything in, in the with one playthrough. Like, I don't think you can go anywhere. Oh, hi, Bluebeard. Oh, no, I'm sorry, big guy. You can't come in. Yeah, yeah, because the thing is, and I don't know if you'd heard, but I'm a third-degree black belt and, uh, you know, whatever. So I wouldn't take any chances, hombre. Last guy who messed with me got his marbles kicked right through his abdomen, all right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Hi, Sheriff. Flycatcher. Are you okay? What brings you here? Are you okay? Your face. Bluebeard was here. He was looking for something. I don't know what. He said it was an official investigation. But how was I supposed to know if he was telling the truth? When I wouldn't let him in. Shit. Found what he was looking for, I guess. It's just super annoying. I just finished cleaning. What did he take? I don't know what he wanted. I, I didn't see what he did after... I'm really sorry, Bigby. I guess it's not your fault. Was he telling the truth? He said you sent him, but I don't know. I just thought he was lying. I'm not supposed to just let people in here. But then he got mad, saying, Oh, just terrible things. <sighs> don't worry about it, Flycatcher. Oh, I'm gonna get fired. Crane already let me go from the woodlands. Is that why you're here? He said I just got in the way. Told me to get lost. The twins offered me a job here working the night shift, so I'd have something. What do I do now? It's nice, you know, quiet. I come in and clean up. Oh, well, Crane's out of the picture now. now. I, I can't see why he couldn't come back to the woodlands. Really? That would be... thank you. Come by the business office. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. Look, I'm running out of time. Ah, oh, shit. Is everything okay? I gotta go. What? Where? I'm headed to the trip trap. Just, uh, just call Snow and tell her what's happened, okay? Can you do that for me? Okay, I, I guess. And I'll ask her about that job, all right? Sure, sure. Take care of yourself, Fly. You too, Sheriff Bigby. Oh, that's disappointing. I thought I was gonna get to search the place. Guess I was wrong.
close due to what? <laughs> He's asleep, you fucking idiot. You didn't even give me a chance to explain. Bereavement? Just left to explain. Just, you know, what happened. We know what happened. Or how it happened. How she... We're closed. Guys, it's me, Bigby. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. Who are you and what have you done with Grin? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? This is not Grin. What the fuck is wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. In fact, I'm in a good goddamn mood. So you should take advantage. The real grin would never act so happy around me. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Grin, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think with... I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grin, really, you shouldn't drink right now. You should quit while you're ahead with that stuff. I might need your help. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia. For the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. Ah, so that's what's wrong with him. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. And I feel like having a drink, okay? There's I like drunk, Gren. Oh, no. And anyways, the doctor gave me strict orders to let the fine woman sleep. She's had a very traumatic experience. That funeral back there, that was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Why you weren't you there? Bigby in there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, I... yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good okay. faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to yeah, get I did. loaded with him. What's the worst that could happen? The dead. All right, now help me. Ren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it, it's done! I'm a separator. What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? What is the problem here? What stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly <gasps> had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. 
trick after trick of this fat ass and little. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a lowlife. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Everything's a problem when I want to talk, but when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh, wait, I have questions. What do you want? When you saw Lily, did she ever mention anything about a witch? No. We didn't talk about work. All right. Grin. I don't know where Lily's shit is. Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. I thought you said you would help me look. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. Grin won't remember this. <laughs> hmm. I have no idea how long I've been recording. <laughs> Alright, I just gotta be really quiet. Right after I check this out. Oh, no, 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 no. Big B, you're an idiot. I just look at it. I didn't see kick it. Oh, well, this is going to prove ch quite challenging to move. Never mind. Right, we got the same wine from the hotel room in Crane's uh, apartment. Uh, a picture. That you, Woody? Nope. Uh, no, Holly. It's me, Big B. Big B. Bar's closed. And excuse me, but I'm not in the mood for entertaining. But what the fuck? I know you're not gonna leave. You do what you want. You always do what you want. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays. The ones that aren't in that fancy high rise. Those of us that gotta work for a living. You may not believe this, but, yeah, I care about everyone who came over. I don't know about that, Sheriff. You're friends with your friends, and we ain't friends. Is it a brooch? S a diary of some sort? A picture? Why'd you even come here? There's nothing here to investigate. I can't be any use to you. I came to say I was sorry, Holly, for the funeral and everything that's happened. No, you didn't. Well, I just did. So technically, I did come here to say sorry.
Man, you can really see the dark circles around Big B's eyes. Has that been like that the whole game, or...? Hmm. Be honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after him? Crane. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? He's been gone for a night. Did they give you this job for a reason? Or was this the only thing the business... Because I hate Crane. Do? I'm doing this for Lily. She deserves whatever justice I can get her. I'll take it. I'm also doing it because I hate Crane. She just didn't need to hear that. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on, uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. I told you not to worry. Right. Listen, we have to hurry. I'll meet you down there. All right, I'll see you there. F and Puff. Completed Chapter 4 of Episode 3. Alright, I'm gonna have to end this part here. Rate, comment, subscribe, and see you next time.